yeah, so this morning I slept in and I haven't gotten very much work done. Feeling great. One hundred percent. That's my favorite intro so far. All right, this is week two, day four. I'm staying at my partner's house right now. I slept in. I didn't get out of bed till after eleven. And you know what? It was really nice. It was awesome. And then I went outside. I walked my dog. The weather. It's even warmer today than it was yesterday. So that was also another great thing about today. I did not attend the virtual writing session and I haven't gone on a walk yet. Walking my dog just means going into the backyard and like staring at the sky while she poops. I did work on my presentation, but mostly I just added citations to things that I already knew and I haven't done the extra little bit of research I need to do to make the presentation really pop. I'm gonna keep staying at my partner's place today and tomorrow, which means I have to go back home to get dog food. And also I think a package was delivered. And so hopefully it's not sitting on my porch. And if it was, hopefully it hasn't been like, you know, it, you know, walked away. I did want to talk a little bit about feelings and sort of routine. Uh, because when I was at my house, I was really getting into this routine. I would wake up early and then I would do things. And sometimes I would wake up a little late, but like a little late was like nine instead of 11. And when I do work here, I don't have sort of a designated workplace. I just work at the kitchen table, whereas opposed to when I'm at my house, I have a like a little desk that is my work desk. So what that means is I just don't really have these spatial and temporal routines when I'm away from my home. And that really affects me negatively uh, in terms of productivity. So then the question of course is, well, why did you leave your house if you had work to do? And the answer to that is, is while it's true that productivity is increased in the short and long term by having these routines, I still have to break out of these routines to sort of justify to myself that the routines are necessary. And also just to keep myself sort of happy and engaged with the work I'm doing, I have to take breaks. Um, and right now I have a really limited sort of bubble of, of people that I see. And, and so I rely quite heavily on my partner for the, the breaks of, of getting out of my house. <sighs> And well, what that means is because of the way that their schedule works, I, I sometimes don't get to see them on the weekends. So I think what will end up happening this week is because I came and visited my partner during the week, I'm going to then work through the weekend, um, which is maybe not the best plan overall because it means I never really get a day of just total relaxation. Um, and instead I just, instead of like two relaxed days and two work days, I have four quasi work days in which I'm like low-key relaxing. Uh, so it's it's not the best plan, but it does keep me sane, I think, in the long run, and it keeps me from doing these major highs and lows that I sometimes get where I will be super productive for a week and then I'll be sort of like dead inside for a week or two or a month. And so really what I'm hoping to achieve is fluctuations like this instead of fluctuations like this. I just wanna be sort of even keeled and not have any extremes or at least not too many extremes until I submit my thesis. 